is our African Pied Crow. Now you may notice that the crow here in Safari looks a little different than the ones we usually see here in Canada. And this because the one we have on Safari is a common crow species found in Africa. Now although these guys may look a little different, a common feature that all crows share is their will and desire to get rid of germs and diseases. They do this by feeding on roadkill and picking up after the garbage that we as humans leave behind. Now this makes crows incredibly intelligent beings as they're not only protecting us humans, but they're also protecting other species as well. <laughs> African Lion Spark took the initiative to switch over to biodegradable straws, replace our plastic bags with paper ones, and finally, the benches you'll come across here in Safari are made from recycled milk jugs. <laughs> now, an easy way we can all do our part in keeping our plant nice and tidy is through recycling, so that all of us can coexist in a cleaner environment. I like to say, if a crow can do it, so can you. He's done a wonderful job for us today. All right, now for our next bird, you may recognize it from a very popular children's cereal. Does anyone want to take a guess of what our next bird might be? And feel free to shout it out. That's right, a toucan. So up next is Papaya. She's our Swainson's or Chestnut Menville Toucan. Now an interesting fact about toucans is that there are 35 different toucan species out there. And of those 35 different species, the Swainson's or Chestnut Manville Toucan is the second largest toucan species out there. A feature you may have noticed on Papaya is her noticeably large bill. Now her bill is about four times the size of her skull and is equivalent to the length of her body. Now despite this size, many are surprised to hear that the weight of the bill is actually quite light. In fact, if we were to take the weight of her bill and compare it to all the feathers on her body, you'd be surprised to see that the weight of the feathers would actually outweigh the weight of her bill. Now, toucans can use their bill for a variety of reasons, including mate attraction and selection. Although the male and female toucans have the same colorations, the males differ as they have a slightly longer and more curved bill when compared to the females. Toucans can also use their bill for competition, nest sites, reaching out for fruits that are far away from them, and scaring off predators. Now all this may sound quite amazing, but my favorite fact about the toucan's bill is that it can use it for thermoregulation. So, much like the radiator of a car, the toucan can use its bill to regulate its body temperature. So on hot days, she can use that bill to cool herself down, and on cold days, she can use that bill to warm herself back up. That was Papaya, our Swainson's, our Chestnut Manival Toucan. Well, the next bird we'd like to introduce you to had straight here at African Lion Safari, and that was eight years ago. This year is FIFA. FIFA is our green-winged macaw. Now, probably one of the most fascinating things about birds is their ability to fly. Now, of course, not every single type of bird can fly. And what does it mean to a bird? Well, it is obviously very important to their survival. They use it to seek shelter, food, escape predation, and of course, staying with your family members. There's a great value to safety in number, especially for the smaller flocking birds, and those extra long flights for the birds in our area as they migrate south once our cold winter months hit. Now, FIFA here being a green-winged macaw is a tropical bird native to South and Central America. Weather and food is abundant year-round. Macaws are certainly not the long-distance flyers of migrators. However, when she hatched out, our plan for her was to have her fly free in our presentation and hope to show off just how beautiful these birds can be in flight. Now, she will take flight from her trainer all the way off to this back corner over here. As she does so, have a good look at her tail in action. As we talked about it in the beginning of our presentation, it is very important for her flight style. It's going to help steer that flight. And of course, we're looking for breaks for a nice, safe landing. What do you say, FIFA? <laughs> no. Nope. Go, FIFA, go. <laughs> She looks like she's thinking about it. There's a little bit of a wind now, so she's probably gonna have to calculate this just right to make sure she doesn't get blown around too much. Here she comes. Brakes are on. 
and she's done it for us again. She's done an excellent job. Let's hear it for her. All right, now there's one feature of parrots that they're really well known for. Can anyone tell me? What's one thing parrots do that everyone wants to hear? Talk! That's right, talking. Now people often ask us to make our birds talk. Obviously we can't make them do anything, but with a little bit of hard work, motivation, <laughs> and training, we can help them say a few things. So up next, coming on in, is our star of the presentation, our yellow Nate Amazon Fernando. Oh, I don't think you guys heard me. This year is our star of the presentation. Let's try it again one more time for Fernando. All right, well, Fernando appreciates that for sure. He is not only the star, he is the veteran out here today. He's 32 years old. He's wow. pretty impressive, but he's a parrot, so they live a long time. One of his size is living anywhere from 50 to 60 years. So 32 years for him means lots of experience, lots to say. Let's get this started. Hello. <laughs> That's where we're supposed to start. Great big old green, nice big cheery hello. And he is a polite bird, I want to say. What is your question? How are you? How are you? Great big how are you? And I see lots of smiles out there, buddy. Now we mentioned his name is Fernando, nickname is Nando, and he has learned to say, or shall I say, sing it. What's your name? Fernando! <laughs> That's right. We hear him call out his own name when he's looking for any attention, and he certainly likes attention. He's a parrot. He also loves to play games. So what is his favorite game to play? I think you might figure it out. <laughs> likes a good tickle. Now what happens when you guys get tickled? We laugh, right? Well guess what? So does our little Fernando. <laughs> Gets a few chuckles out of him. Now he has a couple of animal sound effects and other sound effects that he'd love to share. First, us drinking a cold glass of water on a hot safari day. <laughs> Some good chuckle ups. His first animal sound effect is his impersonation of a pig. <laughs> Pretty rude, I tell him. We're not done yet, though. So why not the bark of a dog? <laughs> Never said it'd be a threatening dog bark. Now, obviously, he's talented. His talents do extend musically, so he loves to whistle, sing, and even dance. <laughs> All warmed up, he's ready to whistle. Keep in mind when he's whistling for you, it is different every presentation. He always makes the tunes up as he goes along. So we'll see what he has for everyone out here today. song from us. So we're honest enough to say we are a little off key ourselves. You can ask everybody to use your imagination, hoping you might recognize his favorite song. Okay, we're not that bad. We're going to clear him up. A few little coughs, a bit of a treat, and now let's see what he has in store. <laughs> All right, anybody know that song? <laughs> That's right, oh, Canada. Now, why is that Fernando's favorite tune? Well, he's not native to this area. We don't have any parrots native to Canada. The thing is, though, he hatched there, and he's very proud of that fact. We'd love to sing it for you again. Very patriotic. He's done an excellent job today. Let's hear it, Carl.
Well, here at African Lions Bar, we do believe that the first steps in conservation are education. So we hope you've enjoyed meeting our birds. Perhaps you've even learned a thing or two today. Now, if you're not quite done learning about birds yet, around the corner in our conservation area, starting up in about 10 to 15 minutes, will be our next bird prey flying demonstration of the day. We hope throughout our presentation, you've not only learned and appreciated the birds we've introduced you to from these more exotics, but even the simplest of birds that we share our planet with. Enjoy the rest of your day here on Safari. Goodbye now.